Hey guys, Nick Ten here. Today I'm back with another origami demo. In this video, I'm going to be demonstrating some of my origami models that I've made from the new book I got. Uh, I showed you guys some pages of it um, and the models I'm working on in a pre in another previous video that I uploaded. So I'll put a video link in the description and I'll send I'll put a link. In the description and you guys can go to that video and check out that book I finished the origami organist but um, some of my fans did not like the videos that I were making so I wanted to try to do a more official upload but yeah so I have my some of my origami flickers that I've been working on and I think they look pretty cool but that's not I'm going that's not the point of this video. I'm going to be showing you guys the models that I made from Origami Design Secrets by Robert J. Lane. So I'm going to uh, skip wait cut right here and I'm gonna be back when I get the book and everything. So yeah. We'll cut. Okay guys, so I'm back uh, with book right in front of me, Origami Design Secrets, Madam Mathematical Methods for an Ancient Art by Robert J. Lane. This is the second edition, so this has a few um, uh, corrections in the book, and they uh, and Robert added some uh, new, new uh, little chapters of it. So yeah, that will be fun. Um, and I just wanted to show you uh, some of my models that I wanted to try to re-demonstrate, so, yeah. So the first one up I have is this or the Origami Organist. So here it is. This is the Organist right here. And this model was actually box pleated using the box pleating method and uh, using a four by one rectangle. And here's the little book, st book stand right there. Uh, you have the keys, so two sets of keyboards, and then the pedals at the bottom. I don't think, I don't think this is a pipe organ because it does not have the pipes. But if it did, the pipes are now hidden. Maybe this one is just for the keys and the pedals, and the pipe, the pipes come later. I don't know, but yeah. This this um was this this the seat of it. The this is a nice design because there's the box and then it holds it all just all of it in. So if I take the organist out for now, you guys can see the petals and the entire model of the organist. So yeah, there's that. Then I have origami koi. So you see right there, the, here's the koi with scales. This one's just, I just tried out the simplified version to see how well I do. And if I did well, I would try to attempt this origami koi. The one, yes, with scales. So yes, I'm going to try to attempt that. Um, but this one's just pretty impressive for now. So here you have the little whiskers, the nostrils at the front the eyes and these are synced in so you will make a little crimp here and then push in that point and do the same on the side and then you just and then um all robert did was uh, fold the flap up make a color change for the head or if you didn't have white paper you know or well double side paper but this is what it looks like and then you pleat the fins, the little bit of fins right there, that, the back fins right there, and I cur added a little curvature to make it look uh, as it, if we're swimming. So yeah, there's the koi, and the last model I'm going to show you guys is this origami tree frog. So yeah, this is also one of the models that is on the book. Here it is tree frog and yes you are able to fold this one as well you, you can learn how to fold it in the book so here it is this is the tree frog it has all um, it 
has the, the four toes, the front, and they are um, spread out. And here as well, have a little joint to them. Um, here are the five toes in the back of the feet. You guys can see that one. And then the back is pleated just a little. The eyes are bulbed out um, by just squashing it a little, very, very little, um, to make the eyes, you know, like, pop out and give that very sense of design. And then you blunt the tip of the nose. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed that, if you did, make sure to leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe to Nick Turn. And as always, stay slimed. Bye!